It's a grand Kamal slam Farah. double for Kamal and Farah. Two sets to love, 6 4. First win seven, nine. Now, the U.S. Open. What a moment for these two. They'll remember this night, as will all of Columbia. I think a very just result lead for, for the number one seeds. Winning as they move over to their team and start celebrating their second Grand Slam title. Sebastian with his son, Jacobo. His favorite uncle, I suppose. His favorite uncle played pretty well today. <laughs> yes, he did. I'm, I'm, I'm glad that... And she does with an ace down the tee. Six three. Well, that name looks okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's plenty of adrenaline rushing through her body. What an amazing moment for Christiane. She has never won a match at a Grand Slam level. Now through to the fourth round in her home Grand Slam. Wow, look at the emotion. Now she rode the wave in that match. This time, Game, set a match, it's Berrettini. job done for Matteo Berrettini, the most three incredible to two. conclusion three, six, six, three, to the most six, two, dramatic three, six, quarter final. Seven, six. And the Italian can call himself a US Open semi-finalist. Quite incredible drama inside Arthur Ashe Stadium, and it's the Italian who comes through in a fifth set tiebreak for the biggest win of his career. Look at the emotion for Berrettini. So good to see it. That was one of the most exciting finishes to a match that I've seen in quite some time. Both guys showing their nerves, showing their human side of it. That's it. And it's a dream new debut for the 15 But it's Goff who comes back from a set and a breakdown. Daniel Medvedev dances his way into the quarterfinals of the US Open. Nice words from the Russian. What a performer this guy is. Rock solid stuff. He did it his way. He beats Cup for it four. 
and once again soaks up a few more boos from the New Yorkers. Well, I took it for you if I was reading his lips correctly, but he is an absolute beast. What a summer. It continues. Bring it. Yeah, the freshman seals the deal. 6-7, 7 6 6 4 6 6 Full of thrilling tennis on Armstrong. And a lot of respect between these two, but it's Monfils who goes through in a five-set thriller. Three in the fifth. Yeah. And you can see he loves the end. Nadal! Yeah, instead of Mike Nadal. Three sets to two. Is the king seven, of the hill five, the top six, three, of the five, heat? Seven, four, six, six, and four. the U.S. Open champion. Since Federer won his first major, is the difference between Nadal and Federer. It's an extraordinary debut. But can you believe it? Bianca Andreescu is a US Open champion. to a standstill, forget the hockey, forget the soccer, forget the basketball. They have their very first Grand Slam singles champion, Chanda. She is 19 years of age. She has come out here, played 24,000 people and the greatest of all time. And she's gone and won on her debut. No other female in the Open Era has done that here in New York. And it's only the fifth time in history it's ever been done at a major. Well, this has well been known to be one of the toughest majors to come and play in with all the noise, all the chaos. She battled Serena, she battled the crowd, and in the end, she overcame them all. And it was nice to see the crowd give her a standing ovation in the end, appreciating the tennis of this young champion. What a day, what a two weeks it has been for Bianca Andreescu. I'm coming. Okay, that's my job. Hugs for coach, for Fed Cup captain Heidi, but she's got to go and find mum and dad. Hitting partner. They may not be the famous names of the Williams box. And those are the pictures that are going to go around the world, around her home country. Chanda, remember that check? Well, let's just have a word on Serena. Fantastic fight back, but once again, has not played her best in a Grand Slam final. 
can't imagine. We're not used to saying that, are we? No, no. And, and as we celebrate and rescue and everything she's accomplished, which has been tremendous.